We got a fun double feature going this weekend with our friends with Bush Exotic at 9th Street downtown. Now, we talked to Sarah Hunter. She's in town this weekend. But as a very special treat, my next guest here on Trip Live Radio, she's performing in the sports bar. Now, we know Sarah Hunter's going to be performing downstairs on the main stage, but also performing on the sports bar stage. And I have to I have to warn you. i got to warn you. She has the label of America's Most Unique Comic, and yeah. it's for a reason. Filthiest. Now, fil- <laughs> she's strictly adult comedy. Strictly adult. Do not bring your kids. This is not for them. No kids. This is strictly for the grown folk. I'm going to warn you this right now. Bag Lady Sue joining me in the studio. And I got I have to point this out. You are very rightfully adorned in black and gold. Because I love my Steelers, you. I love the Steelers the best. Oh, I'm a Pittsburgher. Yeah. We love our teams. We love our Steelers. Oh, they're beautiful. Troy Polamalu. I'd like to hit that one day. I, he won't let me. I met him. He won't let me have it. I asked him. Well, you know, there's another guy that's got a little bit more free time on his hands. Heath Miller just announced he retired. I don't know if you. I was at that. his party at Rico's last night. <laughs> you think well, I'm kidding? I was there. You. Yeah. Is, is that how you found out? He told you that. Hey, he, he let me know, but his wife wouldn't let me near him. Uh, his girlfriend. You were, you were trying to fill the schedule in for him. I was filling up something for him. I just. He's you know. gonna have a lot of free time, you know. Well, he's gonna have more free time. I got more money than him. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> but I love Pittsburgh. You're beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank if you you. ain't seen Josh, he's beautiful, oh. sexy boy. Blah, I like to hit uh, that myself. I, I shaved, you know. Well, I love that. Manscaped that stuff. No woman likes hair in her food. Let me tell you something. Women don't want hair in their food. Trim that stuff. Now, you, you mentioned love in Pittsburgh. Why do you love, love Pittsburgh so much? Because the men here are still men. There's no sissy boys in Pittsburgh. You go out west, there's a bunch of sissy boys, little girly men. They get manicures and stuff. Blah. Men out here, they, you can walk by a construction site and the men will whistle at you. It's beautiful. See, they can't do that out west because out west, the men are like scared because the women will sue them. The stupid, I can't say bitches, I'm going to say it. Anyway, <laughs> wenches, whatever. Women, don't be mean to your men. Keep them John Wayne. Don't turn them into a bunch of sissies because you don't want them after you do that. Now, let, let me ask you this question because obviously you have a strong feeling about how women should treat their men. Well, but, yeah. Now, now, let me ask you this question. If, if for the sake of argument, a gentleman were to come and ask you and ask you for some, some advice. I, I have some problem with a lady friend. I, I, don't, I don't understand how I can better deal with her. What I'm advice a, would you I'm give I'm going to teach you. Okay. Well, what's your Help problem? us out here. Help, fellas, pay attention. Do you munch on the beaver? That is like well, the most Well, you just need to ever. say yes or no. It's a simple answer, yeah. Well, most would assume yes, so we'll go with well, that. Well, we'll assume yes, but that's not the answer. <laughs> Listen, it, that's the first thing. You kiss it a little bit. You don't spend a lot of time, you know, with... You, you see, most of you guys poke it, spit on it. You try to hurry up. You can just kind of be nice to it. Just talk to it a little bit, you know, stroke her hair, give her a little kiss. But men always want to poke you, just sticking it in. They don't have any patience, these men. Have patience with her. Now, the good news is you can get this kind of great advice and more at Blush Exotic Downtown Tonight, all weekend. You, I will give you a sex education 101 from the bag lady. I'm famous for this, yins. All right, let me ask you this question, because you mentioned that you travel all over, and you've clearly done some shows yeah, well, yeah. nationwide. Yeah. So, outside of Pittsburgh, because we know you love Pittsburgh. Right up. Outside of Pittsburgh, favorite place to go? Alaska. Alaska. Ooh. You must explain. Uh, the men is beautiful. So many men and all the women, except for five of us are lesbians, which I love my lesbians. But there's lesbians in Alaska, lots of men. The men, the, the straight men, the hunters, and the kill animals and stuff, they bring home the meat. <sighs> Every woman wants some man to bring home to meat. The, the big, strong, bearded man. Big, strong, beardy, stinky, furry bastard. Listen, yes. The Got stinkier, that. the better? Well, a little bit stinky. Not that three-day butt stuff. I want the normal stinky two-day thing. It's good. Uh, bag Lady Sue joining me here in studio on Trip Live Radio. She's at Blush Exotic all weekend long. Got to check her out. Actually, she's here Friday. I, say I she's love here. him. I'm here tonight. And I got to go to a swingers party in Morgantown, West Virginia tomorrow. But I don't swing. Morgantown. Except, I'll actually be in Morgantown Monday. I'm going to a basketball game now. I'm not going to for a swinger party. I'm covering liar. basketball. He's lying to you. Now, I was going to ask you a question. If you're going to be in Morgantown Monday, we'll hang out. We'll have a beer. No, I'm Monday. I'm going back to get some pecker in, in, in Denver, see. So you're going back You're going back out west? Well, I got to go back, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought the men here in Pittsburgh were better, though. They're you're... better, but I got one that's got this one in Denver. Blah. He's a Mormon. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different other topic. I do. All right, now, I, I got to warn you about this because... 
I got to warn, I should say, our, our viewers here, because I gave you the, the, the tagline here. America's most unique comic. Strictly adult comedy, not for children. Yeah. Now. Filth. Oh, filth. It, that's just that's just part it's of it. Dirty. That's, that's just why like I play stripper clubs, because of beautiful, sexy women. And by the way, tip those women, you. Tip the women. Now, Give me your money. You'd pay your wife hundreds of bucks a week, and she don't even kiss you on a mushroom. Tip the girls at the strip club. Now, you you, you told me a, a great story here, because you're a Pittsburgh girl, born yeah. and bred. So I got I, the tattoo. Yeah. Now, you, you had a great Steeler story for me. You got you to you break this down for me. Listen. I love the Steelers. I met Troy Polamalud at the Ross Park Mall. Oh, he was beautiful. Such a nice boy. And I tried to, to cup his little package, but he wouldn't let me do it because he got a wife. You know, yeah, you're not allowed to do that at the mall, usually. No, I, well, I could at the mall, but not in front of his wife. Yeah, that's usually a problem, too. He was a sweetheart, though. Was just a sweet. I love my Steelers. I've been When I was a titty dancer back in the day... In the 80s or 70s, I had the Steelers used to come in at the Terry Bradshaw and at Lambert with no teeth. Love him. Oh, he was an animal. Oh, he'd come in, throw in hundreds at the girls. What an angel. They were just angels, all the strippers. No, I heard a rumor that you used to dance at Blush way back when. Is that I true? Did, yes, I did. Yeah, I did. And, 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 and the owner of Blush, Albert, who I love with all my heart, I was a young pup then, back in the day. And I, I dressed like this. Because I don't really look like this, Yins. But I did, and I came in to do the show, and he knew I was doing the show, and he just kicked me out three times. I'm like, dude, I got to go in. Yeah, you know, he threw me out. The last time he grabbed me by the arm, whipped me outside, and said, you don't come in here again. And I took off my stuff like this. And I said, hey, Albert, it's me. I have to go on in five minutes. Could you please let me in the bar? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Come see the show tonight. It's going to be a blast. Bag Lady Sue, she's here tonight. <laughs> Blush Exotic, Josh Taylor, Trib Live Radio. Thanks, Josh.